Hello and welcome back to my very, very organized downgrading sub. And I'm the iTunes fanboy, and today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your iPod Touch third generation to iOS 4.1. Now, I am a bit sick, which is why my voice might sound a little nasally, so yeah. So, the first thing, so... The first, so the first thing that you'll need is obviously your iPod Touch third generation. The second thing you'll need is obviously a cable connected to your computer. If you are using a PC for, and you need a Mac or a PC for this to work, and if you're using a PC, you need to download iTunes from the official, from IPSW.me, which is an official source that gets it off of Apple servers. Unfortunately. Apple no longer provides iTunes download links, so yeah. And you also need the iOS 4.1 I IPSW for the iPod Touch third generation right here. And all these download links will be linked in the description of this video, by the way. And, and if you have any essential data on your iPod Touch, you will need to make sure to back it up because you'll lose all the downgrade. So, for, so the first step is to verify that either iTunes on Mac OS Cali, Mojave, Mojave, excuse me, or below, or on Windows, detects, or finder on Mac OS Cali, or higher, detects your, detects your iPod Touch, as you can tell it has detected mine. Okay, so once you've gotten that situated, you need to go ahead and enter DFU mode by holding the power and home button for 10 seconds, uh, and then keep holding the home button for 15 seconds while letting go of the power button, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... As you can tell right here, iTunes has just detected it. It says it's in recovery mode, it's actually in DFU mode. I don't know why iTunes does that. So the third step, so the third step is to go ahead and, if you're on a PC, you'll want to hit the shift button, but if you're on the a Mac, you'll need to hit the option key, and restore. And you'll need to locate your iOS 4.1 IPSW. Click open, click restore, and now I tunes or finder will go ahead and restore your iPod touch to iOS 4 at 1 so I will be back to you once you're once I'm done once this is done now as you can tell we have success I and hopefully you have successfully downgraded our iPod touch third generation to iOS 4 at 1 as you can tell if we go into settings general and about as you can tell I am running iOS 4 at 1 and hopefully you are too if you have any issues with this downgrade, please comment them down below and I'll try to help you the best I can. And if you do, and if you did enjoy this video or found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and please share it as well as please subscribe to my channel because I have plenty more downgrade tutorials. And as always, this is the iTunes fanboy and peace out.